This is a chip and pin um, kind of uh, a kind of pin pad in the UK. I picked this up, picked this up on uh, eBay uh, the other day. I thought it might be interesting to take a look. I've seen a teardown of one of these before, and they had some pretty interesting um, anti-temper kind of protection devices inside. And uh, this one's no different, although it is different. It uses different methods to the one I've seen. The, the back cover removes pretty easily. There's four screws in here, and this pops out. And this is at the point when you'll trip the first anti-temp device, which is this pad here. This makes contact with this board there. And then as soon as that's removed, it breaks the contact, and it knows it's been tampered with, at which point this system can lock down, delete any security code it's got, and go into kind of complete failure mode, which is how I bought this. It, it, it displays a tamper message and doesn't power up properly. And so that is at the first kind of point of contact here. You've got this panel on the back, and that opens up to access these, I believe they're kind of SAM modules, a security kind of access module, something like that. And so you can still get in to um, add in these kind of SIM cards and switch them out. They, obviously this area then is clearly exposed, um, but I don't think, I, I presume that these aren't going to give you access to anything important. Same goes, if you know that's there, then clearly you can just chop away at this and get a full access to this. But the only thing that's really exposed up here are these parts here and a, uh, the data output. This is a kind of RS-232 or straight TTL option. So there's nothing much of interest there. So this board unclips, it plugs into the main board underneath this long connector. And so once that's out of the way, you've got this. It's a big shielded box here. And uh, on the outside, it doesn't look like there's much going on. But this just unplugs very loosely held in place. You see this connection here to the board. And if you look closely, you can see it's covered in tracks. The entire thing, sides, kind of front, back, completely encased in really fine tracks. It's also a multi-layer board, and so there's going to be inner tracks as well. So this means if you try and drill into this, you're going to break one of these tracks kind of trigger the anti-tamper device. And it's really impressive the way they've done this. It's so simple, it kind of removes and plugs on, and it is just completely impenetrable. The I imagine there are inner tracks running behind this connector, because presumably you could drill through and tap onto these terminals to then defeat it. But I'd, I'd expect there'll be inner layers with more tracks running through to stop that happening. And so this is, uh, yeah, unlike the other one I saw was uh, had a completely kind of potted thing. There was epoxy everywhere. It was completely sealed in, so you could not get at the parts. Whereas this doesn't need it at all. I mean, it's a simple box here, and it's there's no way of getting access to these parts without tripping the sensors. So that's that one. Then once that's out of the way, you let the board here. Obviously, once you've got that out, you can access anything you want in here, which isn't a problem. But obviously. As I said, the, the device does get wiped or locked out entirely. And uh, so there's, there's not really much going on there. This uh, kind of onboard battery is used for kind of the, the non-volatile memory. And I'd expect there is some kind of security device which is constantly running and uh, is looking for this all the time. You might kind of wake up every second, check security, and uh, kind of delete codes if it needs to before it shuts down. And so I'm just going to remove this uh, next uh, board here. And uh, to here, there's the screen. There's, uh, this is where we see the remainder of the kind of anti temper points. In addition to the contacts for the switches, you've got all these other little contacts everywhere. And these make contact with these fixed points here. And these ones here are the most obvious. They kind of touch to those terminals there. And so these are constantly touching. This contact is made all the time. And so it knows that this board is properly mounted to the front and it's not going anywhere. There are dozens of screws around here, so this is really tight. So as soon as you try and open this front, one of these contacts is going to release and it'll go into shutdown mode. And so this thing is really kind of impenetrable from the back through this device here, and from the front through all these pads here. 
and so there really is no way to kind of get in to get access to this device to kind of intercept and find out what's going on. Obviously not all devices are like this and there have been uh, numerous kind of successful attempts at breaching the security of these devices. And there's the, one of the more interesting ones is actually getting into the, the card points here. So putting something into there and interfacing between the kind of chip on the card and the reader. And so that's a kind of a one kind of way vulnerability for these devices. But for this particular model, I certainly can't see a way in at all. I mean, it is very kind of well kind of protected. It's quite an impressive uh, build, this.